Hello friends, this video on data handling part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Handling. So let's interpret a pie chart. So once you have a pie chart in place, how do what do you understand? What do you infer out of that pie chart? So here in this pie chart, you can see you can see that there are different sections for biscuits, cakes and pastries, fruit, bread, ordinary bread and others. So this pie chart shows the sale of different items in a bakery shop. So how much, what is the sale of, now which item is being sold maximum? The sale is maximum for which item? Now looking at this pie chart, you see that this brown is present in the maximum region. So that means ordinary bread, the sale of ordinary bread is the maximum. So now looking at this pie chart, let us answer a few questions. For example, if I ask you, what fraction of the total sales is bread? How much fraction? Now here, what is this one? It's 160 degree. This is basically this angle. Now, as I have told you that angle and fraction, they have close relation to each other because how they have close relation to each other? Because one complete unit or one complete circle corresponds to 360 degrees. So knowing this relation, we can find relationship between a fraction and its corresponding angle or its corresponding degrees. Now, if I ask you what fraction of the total sales is bread, what fraction of total sales is bread? Now for bread, the angle is given as 160 degree. Now we know that for 360 degree, 360 degree corresponds to that entire circle. That is the complete pie chart. So how much would 160 degree correspond to? So 160 degree would correspond to 160 divided by 360, which is 4 by 9. So 4 by 9 is the fraction of total sales 4 by 9 of total sales is bread. Now, similarly, if we ask you that how much percentage of total sales is biscuit? Now, for biscuits, what do you see? So, when you look at the biscuits, you see that the angle for biscuits, this angle is 60 degrees. So, what would be the fraction for 60 degrees? So the fraction for biscuits, we can say that it would be 60 divided by 360, which is 1 by 6. So that means 1 sixth of the total sales is for biscuit. Now here we have to tell it in percentage. So therefore we will multiply this by 100. So we get 16.25%. So we can say that 16.25% of the total sales is biscuit. Again, if we ask, what about the total sales of cakes and pastries plus fruit bread? So fruit bread and cakes and pastries together constitutes what, how much fraction of the sales? So in this case, again, you see for cakes and pastries, it would be 80 degrees divided by 360 degrees. This would be the fraction for cakes and pastries. For fruit bread, it would be 40 degree divided by 360 degree. Now this total angle is 360 degree. So fruit bread is 40 degree. So 40 degree out of 360 degree. Similarly, cakes and pastries 80 degree. So 80 degree out of 360 degree. So this is equal to this is 2, this is 9 and this is 9. So this is 2 by 9 plus 1 by 9 which is 3 by 9 which is 1 by 3. So you see just looking at a pie chart you can interpret a lot of things. So it is this is basically a graph. So now you understand how a pie chart acts as a graph. So it, it gives us similar information that a bar graph or a line graph gives. So, so that's that's all about the pie chart. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.